Shalom. So I want to come to create this video really quickly to speak to you guys about something. My father, God, he actually wanted me to come to speak to you guys about this on this powerful first day of this holy month, this month of prayer and fasting and sacrifice. I'm so excited to see what the Father God is going to do upon this earth. I'm looking forward to seeing the power of God springing forth through the vessels that he has chosen. I'm just feeling so blessed. But he um, sent me with this word. He told me to tell the people that are watching me to be careful how you treat people because you never know who someone is. You never know their rank in the gates of heaven. So be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you speak to people. Be careful how you interact with people because you never ever know who you are dealing with. Paul warned you about this in Hebrews 13 and 2. He said, be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares, which means be careful how you treat people because you could be entertaining an angel in the flesh without even realizing it. Angels are also in human form and you don't realize it. When you think about angels, you think about white people with wings flying around heaven, playing harps and singing, you don't realize or pay attention to the fact that Paul warned you that angels are also in the flesh. Pay attention to the Bible. In Psalms 104 and 4, it speaks about angels being turned into spirits and they are turned into spirits so they can come to possess bodies. They come to the earth to possess bodies, to do the work of God, to speak through you, to act through you, to exist through you, to reign through you. And you don't even realize these things. You're not realizing that angels are all around you, good and evil. Satan's angels are all around you and the angels of God are all around you. And you don't know who is who and what is what. I fortunately have been blessed with the ability to know who is who and what is what. When I'm in person with people, when they are next to me, if they are an evil spirit, I feel it. My chest literally starts to hurt. I get pains in my chest when I feel evil spirits. When it's a good spirit, one of my angels, I also feel that as well. I feel a sense of peace and it makes me smile. I know who is who and what is what because I am who I am in the spirit so I can recognize them. But most times people can't even recognize. You don't know who is who and what is what. You could be sleeping right next to Satan Satan's right hand man and don't even realizing it realize it when I was sleeping next to Lucifer himself I knew it was Lucifer because my God let me know that it was Lucifer and this is why I had to break up with this man my last boyfriend the one I was just with in 2020 I had to leave him and I wrote about it in my book because he was Lucifer in the flesh Lucifer isn't in him anymore though. Lucifer came to possess his body because he was trying to get to me. That's how it happened. Later on, I realized everything that was going on. I didn't know then, but now I've started to know what's going on. So like I said, you just have to be careful because you never know who you are dealing with. And I'm saying all this because I deal with people in the public. Like I told you guys, I ride public transportation, so I'm interacting with the public. And the I'm realizing that the bus drivers who are driving these buses, who are driving me around, most of them are very, very arrogant and cocky. And it really is disgusting. I had to speak on this. It's disgusting how they look down on the passengers. They're looking down on the people that they're driving around because they feel like they're so poor. We're so poor because we don't have cars and we have to catch the bus. So we're beneath them. Not even realizing that they are serving us. They wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for us. If everyone had a car, who would they drive around? They wouldn't even be able to work. So they're not even realizing that they are being paid to serve us. Their company is paying them to drive us around. The company that they are working for, their master, is paying them to do whatever we say. Drive wherever they, we tell them to drive. Stop wherever we tell them to stop. Pick us up wherever we tell them to pick us up at. And they don't even realize that because they're so busy paying attention to the things of this world, thinking they are above someone. 
You literally have to go and punch a clock. You got to go and punch a clock and then work for somebody when half the time you don't even feel like being there because that's how you're going to make your money by serving. If you work in the public, you are a public servant. You are serving the public. So please stop acting like you're better than some stop acting like you're better than people when you have no idea who people are or who you are dealing with. Like me, when you see me, you will see a woman having no idea that I'm not a woman at all. I'm a man, the man, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the lord of hosts is my name. Michael, the archangel, the great prince. When you look at me, you don't know that I'm Michael, the archangel, because you can't see through my body to know who I am. But that is who I am. This is why Paul warns you to be careful how you treat people, because that person could control your destiny. I am the one who can say whether you can go to heaven or hell. I have that power. Jesus warned you about it in Luke 12. To be careful, you need to fear the person who's going to come, who not only has the power to judge you, but has the power to judge you and kill you and then cast you into hell. It wasn't speaking about the father when it spoke about that. It was speaking about me, the one that was going to be on this earth as a thief. So you need to be careful. Just like these people who have a whole bunch of followers on social media, people are respected when they have more followers. You get respect when you have a blue check next to your name that makes you somebody special because you have a blue check not even knowing that someone here me the lord is here on this platform with a hundred followers who's more important than all of them those people with the blue checks won't even speak back to you they think they're so much better than you that you will comment saying all kinds of nice things to them giving them all kinds of compliments and they'll ignore you they'll be looking right at your comment and look right over it like they're too good to respond to you this is the kind of people that you admire though the people who will overlook you and ignore you when like i said you have me the lord who created you on a platform with a hundred followers and people are still paying attention to me i have people like tila tequila who is a celebrity paying attention to me copying jacking my style because she admires me so much and looks up to me so much that she wants to be just like me and is copying my style copying my personality, copying my essence, trying to be me. I have drug addicts who are mentioning me by name every other day. People who think they're so important, who literally can't stop talking about me. They're making me relevant and I only have a few followers. I have people tagging me in their videos left and right so worried about me someone who only has a few followers why do you think that is because my spirit makes me powerful my spirit gives me relevance my spirit speaks for me it says power it says authority inside of me that spirit that comes out says that i am somebody special not because of numbers that the world could give me not because of a blue check that the world could give me but because of the powerful spirit of god that my father has given me so yeah just focus on being careful how you're treating people jesus told you to love everybody because it's not your job to pick and choose who is who and what is what you're supposed to love everyone even your enemies that's why he was loving his enemies in front of you so that you he can set an example for you because he had to show you don't treat the wrong person the wrong way because it just might cost you a terrible price.